Today, employers may start helping pay off student debt. And a few of our teams have some games before spring break. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Natalie Yan. And I'm Diana Shanks, and you're watching Spinnaker News. The floral primaries are next week, guys, so make sure, especially if you're in your home district, that you go out and vote. Head, uh, go to the polling places on Tuesday, and get the little sticker. Get, yeah, you guys get your little uh, I voted sticker, so <laughs> it gives you a little something to look forward to. All right, guys, in other news, an academic center for excellence employee got a phone call on March 4th from an unknown individual who stated that an ACE tutor assaulted his girlfriend and another student. According to the report, the caller said alcohol was involved. He didn't give any names or possible victims or say where the alleged battery occurred. This is an ongoing investigation and Spinnaker will keep you guys updated with the story as more information becomes available. According to the Huffington Post, the American dream of college education has turned into a nightmare for many dealing with student debt. But momentum is building in Congress for a solution that could benefit workers and employers. United States Representative Rodney Davis is pushing one of two bills that advocate for a small change in federal tax law to help avert billions of dollars in student loan defaults. His proposal would give business and workers a tax break when employers give their employees money to pay off their student loans. Some bosses already offer workers extra cash to pay down student debt, hoping to recruit and retain young employees and help them plan for retirement. Lenders have hailed the policy as the hottest employee benefit today. Although this won't solve the student debt crisis entirely, it's a huge step in the right direction. Okay guys, let's head on over to sports. Good morning Ospreys, I'm Diana Shanks with your Spinnaker Sports Report. ETSU edged out the women's tennis team in the final set of their last match to win 4-3. The Ospreys open the match with a quick point in doubles. The Ospreys have a busy weekend ahead as they travel to Alabama to take part in the Jaguar Classic at South Alabama. UNF takes on VCU at noon on Saturday before playing the hosts on Sunday. Senior Mary Dawson collected her second Atlantic Sun Women's Golfer of the Week honor after leading the Ospreys to a top 10 finish at the UNF Collegiate, while also matching her career best finish and tying for third. Dawson also earned the award during the fall season, and the team as a unit has been on a roll. They've collected four weekly honors in the past five weeks and a conference high seven this year. Dawson and the rest of the team have a bit of a break before competing in the MSU Spring Invitational, hosted by Moorhead State. The softball team heads to Clearwater this weekend to play six games in four days, five of which are in the USF Under Armour Showcase. They started with a game against Penn State yesterday, which they lost 2-3, but today is when the tournament play begins. They'll be facing off against Fairfield and Southern Illinois, and tomorrow take on Winthrop and Maine. They'll close the weekend with a game at USF in Tampa. Have you seen the newest episode of Center Court yet? Hosts Alex Scantlin and Ryan Hennessy were joined by guest Jonathan Harkey to talk about the latest news going on with the NBA, NFL, and of course our very own Osprey athletes here at UNF. No worries if you haven't though, just head over to the YouTube page Spinnaker Television and see what you missed. Well that's it for sports, let's head back to the desk. Thanks Diana. Alright guys, a few spring break tips that we're going to give you. Be smart, be responsible, you know. Always inform others of your travel plans. Make sure someone knows where you are. If you're traveling, stay on made roads, don't take shortcuts. Take a map just in case phone service isn't working. And all together, just make sure to have a great spring break, enjoy the sunshine, and have a good time. We'll see you back. Yeah, absolutely. For more stories here, you guys can follow us at unfspinnaker.com. You can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. Spinnaker also has a free app that you can download in both the Google Play and Apple stores. So be sure to check it out so you don't miss anything going on at UNF. All right, guys. For Spinnaker News, I'm Natalie Yant. And I'm Diana Shanks. Have a great day, UNF.